And now it's time for Saturday Swings with the Jazz Man on WJAZ. Hey, what's up, motherfuckers? They, these groovy-ass cats at WNUT, man, they hooked me up. They gave me a cool little segment, you know, like uh, they used to do with the Friday Vibe and shit. But it's for your boy, the Jazz, man. So we're going to be doing it on the weekend, you know. It's going to be called the Saturday Swings, man, because we're going to have all kinds of shit grooving and swinging up in this bitch. And I'm going to play you something kind of laid back. You can kick back and just maybe have a cognac, too. Or how about this? I, I play something kind of hot, you know, get you moving a little bit, you know, maybe make you want to get out and go to them clubs or something. So so you never know, man, but whatever it is, as long as you're riding with the jazz, man, all your ass need to know is it's going to be hot, it's going to be cooking, and it's going to be swinging. So today we're going to start right out the gate with the heaviest hitter in all of jazz. That's right. You're about to be visited by the Lord himself, Miles Davis. Man, this is the groundbreaking seminal 1959 album, Kind of Blue. If you ever see a list of best jazz albums ever released in the history of the world, this bitch is usually not just on it but it's sitting right up top you know anytime like newcomers to jazz man walk into this wild wacky world if you had to walk right through the front door of jazz there'd be a sign on it that would say miles davis kind of blue now if we're gonna talk about what kind of jazz you're gonna hear today technically kind of blue is something called modal jazz now the jazz man been playing jazz for decades cats and i can't even really explain to your ass what the different kinds of jazz is or what makes them what they are you know you just kind of have to learn how to feel it you know you got to kind of learn to know it when you see it or in this case hear it and uh best i can describe modal jazz is you know modes are different ways of playing around the key you know so like if you're in the key of c there's a bunch of different modes you can play the way the notes are going to go together and form melodies and uh, you can play around c all day long and it'll sound like you're doing different shit you know it's gonna sound like you're changing chords or changing keys or whatever but all you're doing is just kind of fucking around and see different creative ways so that's that's what we're dealing with with modal jazz you know Sometimes they never do change chord, but a lot of times they do. You know, but uh, anyway, today we're going to listen to one of my favorite tracks on this damn album, you know, and it's actually the least kind of blue one on here. This one is the second track on kind of blue. It's called Freddy Freeloader. And man, let me tell your ass, I love swinging this one in clubs, man. I go fucking crazy on the bass when I play this shit, baby. I I've actually been known to stretch this motherfucker out 20 or 30 minutes, but the version we're going to hear today, it clocks in at under 10. Hey, don't worry, man i i ain't putting you in here for no half hour we only gonna do 10 measly minutes of jazz so anyway listen take your ass down to the local record store and either get yourself a copy of a nice remastered version of a uh, miles davis kind of blue you know uh, crank it up on your stereo system at the house and 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 let them notes wash over you. Or, or, hey, do this, man. Go get you a nice, scratchy, beat-up copy on vinyl, you know, from back in the day. Like, like 200, 300 motherfuckers done played that one on bad needles and shit, you know. Listen to it with all the cracks and the pops in the world and that stuff, you know, man. Experience it with some texture. However you do it, man. The point is, just get yourself a copy of Kind of Blue, man. Because any self-respecting record collector or music fan in general needs to have a copy of this bad boy on hand at all times. And to get you started, man, here's Freddy Freeloader on Saturday Swings.
Thank you.